All Journey His Story began in 2003 with 18 people meeting in the basement of Herman and Deborah Williams and at the O'Fallon Public Library. Immediately we saw God's hand at work. Soon our growing core group required relocation to a larger office space, then to the Four Point Sheraton, and finally to the facility we enjoy today. This facility has served as a tool for God to change thousands of lives, but our journey is just beginning. With our obligation to the generation almost complete, now it's time for the next exciting step. We must seize the moment and momentum of now on our path to changing lives. How? By developing and completing the campus around the architectural concept of changing lives. The additions will engage each life changer and guest on every level and remind them we are truly life changers in the world. We're already seeing tremendous progress on our campus. The Charles and Deanne Rayford Family Development Center, AKA the Youth Building, is almost complete. Every day, progress continues on this building. And every day, we draw even closer to seeing this incredible facility come to fruition. This forward momentum serves as a daily reminder of what vision, unity, faith, hard work, and obedience can accomplish. This momentum also serves as an assurance God is with us, leading us to the next chapter in his story, the expansion and renovation of our current facility. Our God is a multi-generational, multifaceted, faithful God who showed us even through the so-called Great Recession, he can do more than one thing at a time. And that's what he's calling us to do. While finishing the youth building, we prepare for the expansion. The time is now. Every feature of New Life in Christ campus is designed to be simply life-changing. Our exciting renovation will make the outside of our campus even more inviting and attractive. With expansive on-site parking, large, beautiful fountains on the east and west side of the main building, we're giving the main entrance a complete facelift to reflect the new life cathedral we have become. The many exciting ministries of new life in Christ and the increasing numbers who join us on Sunday and throughout the week have pushed the limits of our East Lobby to capacity. So we're expanding and enhancing the lobby to address space issues as well as key areas of our vision. We're including a singles gathering area and small group learning latte cafe for the growing singles one to wholeness ministry. And we're providing a dedicated area specifically for the wonderful women of virtue who champion the new life vision every day. We're also developing our West Lobby. It is designed to continuously remind life changers about the world we are to change and engage. This lobby will feature a fountain on a global map, an aquarium with a world emphasis, and the water representing life and the lives that will be changed around the world. Water is a feature you will see throughout the campus. This lobby and our entire campus serves as a constant reminder of our core values, our mission, and our determination to be a one-of-a-kind church that changes the world. From the beginning, our journey has included the goal to be a church that is 50% male, to make our campus even more attractive to more men and exciting to the men of our church and community. We have dedicated space for the Men of Valor ministry, the Man Cave. It features thematic classroom areas, sports bar, skybox overlooking the gymnasium, and even a theater room. New Life in Christ continues to be the fastest growing church in the St. Louis Metro East area. To accommodate our growth, we're doubling the size of our main worship center. Imagine the opportunities for ministry and worship as we further expand our sanctuary specifically to maximize worship and to provide twice the stage area, twice the seating, state-of-the-art media for greater streaming capabilities and future TV broadcasting a new logo water feature behind our baptismal pool 
so everyone can see new souls being baptized into the kingdom. One of our core values is worship, and this is an exciting opportunity to bring even more men and women together so that they may experience new life in Christ in a state-of-the-art worship experience that will be simply life-changing. Our current classroom for nursery and elementary is simply not enough. We're out of space. But our plans for expansion include secure thematic and functional nursery facilities in elementary age classrooms to answer that problem. They will capture imaginations and transform young lives, taking each child through a world experience on seven continents. This vision includes new nursery facilities and eight new classrooms for grades one through eight. Each classroom will be designed as a thematic Christian education experience, interactive, functional, fun, and alive with the global mission of new life in Christ. Each room will display unique themes that dazzle the eye, capture the imagination, and cause transformation into young life changers. Likewise, currently, we don't have enough space for middle school and junior high. Now, their journey will be an interactive, exciting auditorium and classroom with a full stage, large screen video, movable seating, and enough versatility to make this room perfect for worship, music, games, skits, and much more. With this interactive auditorium and more classrooms, we're preparing 6th through 8th graders to be life changers forever. Yes, Life Changers, we are also out of space for our general classrooms. So along with new classrooms for the youth, adults get some new space as well. Eight new classrooms where new life in Christ becomes as large as a small group. Our couples, singles, women, and more will have more classroom space for more openness, transparency, and life-changing learning. As you look at our journey, his story, you can see God's hand at work. Don't you feel the call to stand up and stand with this divine story of God at work in the earth? Are you prepared to place yourself into the place God designed you for? A place of vision, obedience, participation, and tremendous blessings. Our journey demands a response to his story. The response? Commit to give so God's story will continue. Our journey has taken us through several chapters of his story, but it doesn't end there. Now it's time to do whatever it takes to take the message of salvation to our neighborhoods, cities, nation, and the world. We are New Life in Christ. Simply life-changing for life-changers.